Hello and welcome to my video presentation for VIS 2023 Guided Visual Analytics for Image Selection in Time and Space. I'm Ignacio Perez Messina and this is work we've done in collaboration with David Echeneda and Silvia Mikch, all representing the Te Uvin. First, let's understand the context in which image selection takes place. This context is UXO detection, a task that has a history starting during World War II, where millions of bombs were dropped in strategic aerial bombings by the Allied forces. These bombings left a lasting impact, particularly in the form of unexploded ordnances or UXOs. UXOs are bombs, shells or other explosive devices that were dropped during World War II but failed to detonate upon impact. UXOs pose a significant threat to modern construction projects as they can be inadvertently unearthed by construction workers during the works. To this day, efforts are ongoing to safely detect and dispose of UXOs. One innovative approach to UXO detection is detection from aerial images. Aerial images are photographs that were taken by the reconnaissance flights as part of the same uh, strategic bombing from the Allies. They are currently stored in English, US and Russian archives. By analyzing these historical aerial images, the experts can pinpoint potential UXO locations by reconstructing the damages suffered by an area in time. However, these images are costly to acquire and analyze, and even for a small area, hundreds of them are available. So analysts are forced to pick an optimal set of images or optimize their image selection. Well, so this is image selection for UXO detection in time and space. In this presentation, I am just going to talk about the VA system we have created the guidance and the user study. Many other things like our task analysis and domain characterization you can find in the paper. We have designed and implemented a visualization to aid expert analysts in the task of image selection for UXO detection. Just to be clear, image selection is only one part of the whole UXO detection workflow and the only one we have tackled here from a visual analytics perspective. The actual bomb and crater detection happens later in the process. The visualization we've designed is mainly a timeline where both recorded aerial bombings or attacks, the aerial images themselves and the relations between both aerial images and attacks are visible. Images are encoded in circular glyphs, which in turn are encoded within superglyphs corresponding to the flights in which they were taken. The visualization is in grayscale, while the decisions of the user on what to select and the effect of the selection on attacks and so on are shown in green. This encoding allows uh, to easily filter in time, browse images, check the um, content of an image in the geographical map, uh, manipulate it to georeference it, select it, and verify its covering of uh, important events, meaning the attacks. But this was only the first step that we took, as we also wanted to provide users with guidance. What is guidance? Guidance is the active support of visual data analysts in pursuing their goals during analysis by an expert system. Guidance is usually expressed through visual cues and suggestions which stem from a certain model of the problem. Mixed initiative approaches, for example, employ guidance to communicate with the user. We designed two types of guidance. One that shows the interest of each image to the model relative to all other images and one that actually suggests 
a whole subset of images, a full selection. In guidance terminology, we call this orienting guidance and prescribing guidance. The two types of guidance are shown in two color layers. The blue layer is orienting guidance and the red layer is the prescribing guidance. Red image glyphs, therefore, are the guide's selection, while in the continuous range of blue, the user is indicated what images the model finds more interesting from the whole dataset. For the evaluation, we recruited six domain experts from Luftbild Datenbank, our partner company, and gave them each two real-world scenarios to individually perform image selection. Then we analyzed their selection data in two ways. We observed the partial indexes for each solution and how they change with guidance. Uh, I'm going to talk about them later. And we also asked our two partner experts to rank uh, the solutions according to their, their criteria. For solutions, I mean uh, selection of images for a project. So at first, through our interactions with our partner experts, we created several indexes that measured different aspects that matter for the quality of the solution. This is the, the story of how we arrived to our guidance model. For example, uh, the time coverage index uh, simply measured how much time in total the selected image is covered, considering that an image covers about 25 days before it was taken, a rule of thumb from the experts. and uh, also the best shot indexed, which measures the average score of the set, attributing a score to each image depending on whether if it's a detailed overview or paired image, uh, which is part of the domain knowledge that we uh, acquired from experts. You can find more details in the paper. But when we saw what the participants did in, the, in our task-based study through these indexes, which you can see here, we could observe a general improvement when using the guidance system, represented by the green bars for each participant, and uh, the red bars would represent a decrease in quality of a participant within a certain index. For example, the overall index is just the aggregate of all other indices indexes and it produced a certain ranking for the solutions of the participant in both tasks. However, the change in the ranking or, or, or the, the rankings that were observed for both tasks according to the overall uh, index uh, did not correlate so well with the experts assessment of the participant sele selection of the two tasks. For example, as you can see, for the experts, participants 1 and 5 had for both tasks the best solution, while according to the overall ranking, 5 scored much worse in the first task. This meant that not every index mattered equally and none of them suffused by itself to predict quality according to the expert standards. So we had our partner expert explain us the rankings in great detail. And so we could arrive at a rule-based formulation of what is a quality solution. Based on some of the indexes, particularly the time coverage index and the best shot index, uh, the, the ones that revealed to be more important to the experts, um, and the rules we derived from the expert rankings that I just showed you, we finally arrive at a measure of quality that could predict the quality of solutions according to our expert ranking. Through this process, we were able to formalize our optimization problem and create a model that generates better solutions and adapts to the user's intention. The guidance algorithm evaluates the value of adding an image to the selection in each iteration and picks the best one in a greedy way and so it tries to approximate to the Pareto front of economic yet resilient solutions. To conclude, there are several novelties in this work as we have approached a new domain from a visual analytics perspective. So this is actually the first domain characterization of UXO detection with aerial images 
It is the first VA approach to image selection for UXO detection and the first attempt at modeling image selection. It is also uh, the first work based on the methodology for task driven guidance design, which is based on the typology of guidance tasks, which we have presented recently. And finally, in the outcomes of the work, count themselves, of course, a VA system and a guidance system, which were positively received by actual experts working in the field, uh, a guidance that proved to increase the quality of solutions, and a base uh, for new developments on the field of UXO detection from aerial photographs. For more details regarding the results of the evaluation or task analysis, domain characterization, etc., please refer to our paper. Thank you for your attention.